koutou katoa. Ko Maria toku ingoa. He tia mana ahau o te runanga o kurele o Aotearoa. Hi everyone and welcome to our first Friday Kiwi Lale Jam. I'm Maria, the chairperson of the New Zealand Ukulele Trust. And this is Uki, our Kiwi Lale mascot. Thanks for joining us online. New Zealand Ukulele is grateful to Menza Networks of Expertise funding, which has helped us to provide online support for you, our Kiwi Lele whanau. We'd love you to click the Kiwi Lele Teacher Support Evaluation link and let us know how we're doing. This will help us to report to our funders and support our Kiwi Leles as best we can. The evaluation link will be posted on Facebook and other platforms where online Kiwi Lele support is offered. No face-to-face -face workshops are happening this term because of COVID-19, but we're thinking of you all in your bubbles and sorry we can't strum with you in person. We'll be in contact every week and we love learning how you and your Kiwi Leles are doing. A shout out to Norton Kiwi Leles from Hamilton and their teacher Trevania, who emailed to say they've been playing ukuleles together over the COVID-19 lockdown level four and three They've shared music, laughs, and the joy and love of learning and playing the ukulele with friends and family. The Norton Nukes say, take care out there, everyone. This video and all of our Kiwi Lele Friday Jams, or Friday Kiwi Lele Jams, I should say, will be available on our YouTube channel, NZ Ukulele Squads and Kiwi Leles. We do actually have two channels. There's a New Zealand Ukulele YouTube channel as well, but we will be posting videos for this on New Zealand ukulele squads and Kiwi Lales. And on our brand new Kiwi Lales blog, Kiwi Lales 2020 at blogspot.com. Again, that's Kiwi Lales 2020 at blogspot.com. It's going live today for the very first time. In addition to Friday Jams, we're making tutorials and lyric movies to help you with teaching the Kiwi Lale songs. Our expert ukulele Mentor Philip Griffin is answering requests for tutorials. Two tutorials have already been made in response to a request from Sylvia Reynolds, Kiwi Lale teacher at Makara Model School in Wellington, who asked for advice on learning to strum the songs Smile by Hannah Milo, which was last year's APRA You Can Do It winner, and We Are One, this year's Hook, Line and Sing Along winning song by Sophie Brown. The other good news is that the 2020 Kiwi Lele songbook, lyric videos and audio tracks will be uploaded to our website next Friday and the printed songbooks and USBs will be posted out to registered Kiwi Lele schools the following week. It's not too late to register for 2020 Kiwi Leles if you would like to access these. Details are on our website nzukulele.org.nz We'll launch the 2020 Kiwi Lale Songbook in next Friday's Kiwi Lale Jam on the 15th of May. Today, our jam features Edwin Randall, Kiwi Lale teacher extraordinaire and HOD music of Sacred Heart College in Auckland. Some of you may remember him as Beethoven or DJ in the house. Edwin is going to share his 10 tips for playing the ukulele better. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Please do remember to click and fill in the online ev evaluation at the end of this video. Ka kite anō, here's Edwin. Hi kids, my name is Edwin Randall and here are my 10 tips for playing the ukulele better. If you don't tune your ukulele, it's going to sound really horrible. So this is how I do it. I either use a ukulele tuner, my ear, or a cell phone app that tells me if the note is in tune. Who's heard this before? My dog has fleas. That's the little tune that you learn to know if your ukulele is in tune. Otherwise, you could go, good cats eat apples. And that tells you the letter names of the strings. Good cats eat apples. 
To tune your ukulele, you have to turn the tuning peg. If I tighten it, the string goes higher. If I loosen it, the string goes lower. Have a listen. Going lower, going higher. And let's see if my tuner works. Almost, almost, and it becomes green. It means it's in tune. Lovely. Learn to hold the ukulele correctly. If you write with your right hand, the ukulele faces left. If you write with your left hand, the ukulele faces right. If you write with your right hand, that is the hand with which you strum with. Then the other hand is the one that plays on the fingerboard. The arm of your strumming hand is the one that gently pushes the ukulele against your belly. And the other one plays on the fretboard, like this. For left-handed players, these two strings need to be switched around. The thick string needs to sit here, and the E string needs to sit there. And then, of course, the ukulele will be facing right. Teachers, make sure you indicate which ukuleles are left-handed ukuleles. They could be color-based or they could have a sticker on top. Too often I've seen kids putting their thumb in the wrong position. To play the guitar or the ukulele, it's almost like a Lego man's hand. We have a clamp. Our thumb is the clamp. So if you put the ukulele in your hand, you should be able to clamp the ukulele like this. Otherwise, if your thumb is not there, and it's there, you're going to find it really difficult to play. So make sure the thumb is in the right position. This is really a tip for teachers. If you need the attention of your class, make sure they are sitting in the resting position with the base of the ukulele on their laps. Then going from playing position is just moving it onto their laps. See how this hand doesn't change. Resting position, playing position. Teacher talk, everybody plays. I really prefer to strum the ukulele with my index finger and my thumb, like this. But other people prefer to use a pick. You do get a little bit of a clearer sound on the picks. To hold the pick, clamp it between your thumb and index finger and let the arrow point towards you, like this. When it comes to playing the ukulele, you should really strum on the beat of the music. To practice this, try singing and strumming row, row, row your boat on the beat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Finger position on the fretboard is really important. It's like each finger is assigned to a fret or a block. Have a look at this. One, two, three, four. And then sometimes you want two fingers to be in the same block. Then you have to turn your elbow out so that you can get two fingers in the same block. Strumming patterns are really important when you start playing properly. Look at these four down strums. They would sound like this. Down, 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 down. See how I use my index finger's nail on the down. Don't play on the side of your finger, that would hurt. On the fingernail. Otherwise, if you're using a pick, clamp it nicely firmly, pointing it towards you, and 
down, 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 down. Now look at this typical strumming pattern. It goes down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Practice it with me. Go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Your hand is basically going down, up, down, up the whole time, but you only strike the ones you need. Down, down, up, up, down. It would sound like this on the ukulele. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. See how I use my thumb on the up and my nail of my index finger on the down. Down, down, up. Some people even use a mute in their strumming patterns. Have a look at this. I kind of scratch the strings and then I mute it with this part of my hand. And I push down on the strings like that. And see how I'm using my thumb on the up as well. That one would take you a while to get, so don't get discouraged if you don't get it immediately. For beginners, it's really good to put these stickers on your ukulele to see where the different chords are. Yellow for C, blue for F, and green for the G chord. When your ukulele doesn't have it on, like this, it can be very daunting and difficult to try and figure it out in the beginning. So ask your teacher to put some stickers on your ukulele and that would make your life much easier. Now that you have stickers on your ukulele, it's really easy. To play the C chord, clamp all these three fingers, one, two, and three, down to play the C chord. That would give you a nice grip to play your first easy chord. Try not to play it like this because later on you'll have to move your fingers to different places. So if I have the C like this, it's really easy to go to F and back to C. There you go. To play the G chord, move your elbow slightly out to let these two fingers align in the same fret. Look at that, elbow out. And then these fingers align much easier. Then the third finger on the second string, third fret. And it should sound like this. And then to move back to C, there's a little trick. Just roll your finger down to the bottom string. From there to there. The chords of the song that you are trying to play will always be written at the top of the song. If you can play all of those chords, you'll be able to play the whole song. Look at the C chord. To play the C chord, you hold your ukulele up like this, and that note will be this one on the ukulele. Tap playing makes picking melodies very easy. The four lines on the paper are just the strings of the ukulele. So if I write numbers on these lines, they tell me where to put my finger on the strings. If I write a zero, that means open string, no finger. To understand tab, make sure the ukulele is facing left towards tab. But when you start playing, everything is upside down. Can you say top becomes bottom? So anything written on the top line will be the bottom string once the ukulele is on your lap. Have a look at this tab. See how three, two, zero will be played on the bottom string. Top becomes bottom on the ukulele. Let me show you. So now we'll be playing three, two, zero, which is open string. Always remember to pluck that string that's indicated. Three, two, zero. And then it was three and open string. I hope you enjoyed my video. 
keep practicing and I'll see you soon. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Bye bye!